Good morning. Thank you very much. Thank you to our supervisor, David, for inviting us and making this program. Uh, one of the great Jewish uh, Muslim jurists, Abu Hanifa, they asked them, if you had one prayer that you know 100% God will accept that, who would you make that prayer for? He said, I will make it for the leaders of our nations, because if they're good, the entire nation would be at peace, at ease, and it would be a prosperous nation. So prayer for our leaders that they do good for us in the few years that they're in the office and their name will be remembered in goodness. On the day of judgment, according to our tradition of the Muslims, Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, said that God will remind his servants about the blessings that he has given them. And he will ask one man, he'll say, do you remember that time when you were in difficulty and you asked and you prayed and I alleviated you from that difficulty. I removed the difficulty from your life. And the man will shout, yes, yes, I do remember that time. I remember. Thank you, my Lord. Thank you, my Lord. And then he will ask, do you remember that other time you were in financial crisis and you were going through a lot of difficulties in life again? And you came to me and you prayed and you asked. And I answered your prayer again. And I alleviated you from that. And he says, yes, yes, I do remember that. So God keeps reminding about all the time that he answered the prayer of this man, and then at the end he will say, do you remember that other time you were in pain and suffering and you were in difficulty? And then he asked, and you prayed, and I didn't answer it. And the man gets sad. He goes, I do remember that time. Yeah, you never answered my prayer. And God will say to him, I'm going to answer that prayer now, so enter my paradise. The prayers either will get answered immediately or is deferred, or it will get answered in the hereafter. But Rumi, the great sage of Islam, he said, he has a story, a beautiful story about a man who is a snake charmer. And he makes his living with this giant snake that he has on the street corner. And people come and watch the show and they pay him money. And so one day he, somebody comes and steals his snake. So he starts searching for it. He starts calling upon God. He said, dear Lord, you have to let me find this snake because this is the bread and butter. For my family, this is how I make my living. If I don't have this snake, I don't have anything. Please, oh Lord, he goes street to street. Show me. He has an idea that who might have stolen his snake. He said, I want to find this person and I want to take my snake back so I can go and perform my shows. As he's making prayer, he feels depressed that the prayers are not answered. Goes street to street all over town, but he can't find his snake or the person that stole his snake. And as he is going through it towards the evening, he sees a man lying down on the street, turned blue, dead. And he recognized him and he said, this is the man that stole my snake. This is, I had a poisonous snake and I didn't know. And then he turns to the heaven and he says, thank you, my Lord, for not answering my prayers. Because I didn't know I was asking for a poisonous snake. And Rumi says, he said, all the prayers that you do, if they are harmful to, for yourself and you're asking for your own destruction, God, out of his generosity, he refuses to hear those prayers. Because sometimes we pray for things and we don't know we're asking for poisonous snakes. So we ask God to show us the truth in its true form, and give us the ability to follow it. And we ask God to give us eyes that we can see the truth, to give us ears that we listen. To, we listen. A lot of people don't listen anymore. That we listen to, to ourselves, our own hearts, to listen to the words of God, to listen to the voice of the voiceless. We ask God to give us heart that we can understand and comprehend and fill these, our hearts with compassion, with love, with mercy, and make us amongst the people that we love and show love and, and mercy towards our children and the young people and show respect and honor toward our elders. And may God bless this country. May God bless the world. May God make us amongst the people that we are beneficial to uh, the societies that we are living in. And we are beneficial to the world, to the animals, to the plants, to the trees. And we are, take, uh, we are the caretaker of this planet and we don't harm it. Thank you. Have a wonderful day.